morning. It's a very good morning for Nathan Fletcher and uh, Lorena Gonzalez because th they've got multi multi millionaire uh, bank accounts that they control uh, as slush funds. And doesn't look like anyone in the media is poking around to hold them accountable for what they are going to be doing with this money and whether they should be actually chipping in to defray all the, the cost of the damages uh, well, done by Nathan Fletcher. All right, for, well, a couple questions. One, how do you know how much it is and how much is it? So uh, Nathan Fletcher and Lorena Gonzalez, after years in politics, kept raising more and more money from special interests. These campaign contributors uh, and donors continue to give to various funds that these uh, politicians control. Uh, Nathan Fletcher uh, was running for state Senate when he was, uh, well, uh, when the scandal took him out, at least for the moment, from office. And uh, he was able to raise over a million dollars for that race. Uh, under the law, he can't just simply transfer that to his personal bank account. It's, it has to remain in a campaign account. And therefore, Paul, we have access to how much he has left. And currently it shows that he has over $980,000 sitting in a campaign account uh, at his disposal. And he's returned no money, no money to donors. Uh, he has uh, not reimbursed the county for election costs, hasn't reimbursed MTS for legal costs for this uh, sexual assault, sexual uh, harassment lawsuit. But he has uh, nearly a million dollars under his control. Now, Lorena Gonzalez left office as a state assembly member, and she was sitting on about $1.3 million in cash. And suddenly that disappeared, but it was transferred into a new campaign fund, which she has called the Future Workers Fund. Uh, Paul, something uh, makes me believe that the only two future workers that that <laughs> fund's gonna support are Lorena Gonzalez well, <laughs> and, and Nathan Fletcher. But she's got 1.3 million, combined the two of them have about two to, 2.3 to okay. 2.5 million dollars. That's a nice chunk of change, but if you can't access it to pay the light bill, and and you just said it's illegal to use it for personal expenditures, you really can't pay off your legal fees. I mean, it's nice to have that money in your account for maybe some future political endeavor, but otherwise, it's just a number on a piece of paper that you can't access. Am I right? No, no. So there are a number of tricks that these politicians uh, engage in uh, with the help of accountants and lawyers to basically convert the, the, the funding to uh, a variety of uses that the donors never expected or intended. Uh, so first, uh, Nathan Fletcher could today uh, donate all that money to the county and say, you know, I really made a mistake. I feel bad about it. I'm costing taxpayers $6 million for a special election. So the least I can do is hand over this chunk of change to defray my, <laughs> my damage. Uh, he has the right to do that. He also, uh, and the politicians do this a lot, they will go on trips, on, on uh, uh, vacations, and they'll say, well, I'm learning about public policy. As long as there is a thread of of uh, some sort of justification to public policy or outreach, they can also support themselves that way. We're talking about lavish dinners can be purchased using campaign funds, uh, as well as a variety of other expenses that he can de deem to be uh, in preparation for a future run for office. So this this money, again, they're they're sitting on it. They have these damages that they've caused. They need to do their part. If, if Nathan Fletcher really is uh, contrite about his failings, then the least he can do is say, I'm not going to run for office again. Uh, I'm not going to try to weasel my way back in. Here is all the money I collected for campaigns uh, for public service, and it should go for the public benefit. But he's not going to do that. And no one in the media, Paul, uh, except what? for KUSI, uh, 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 is really po focused on this. Come on. Does that surprise you? Uh, no. Carl... Is it is it legit for uh, uh, Nathan or Gonzalez to give the money to other political people they support? Like, uh, could, could they take that money and transfer it to another race they, they deem important in the state of California? Oh, they certainly could. Uh, they could do independent expenditures. They could give direct campaign contributions. But Nathan Fletcher and Lorena Gonzalez aren't about the movement and helping anyone else out. They're about themselves. And that's, again, why they're just sitting on the cash. When you look at it, you're not seeing this money spent for legitimate public policy advancement or 
to help other candidates out. If they did that, then at least it would be permissible uses in terms of what the donors expected. The donors who gave money to Nathan Fletcher and Lorena Gonzalez felt like they were supporting people I, in theory that they were um, um, uh, believing in, or maybe they just wanted some sort of deal or, or some sort of benefit um, in terms of how they were voting or what they were doing. But those campaign funds presumably go to advancing causes or candidates. Uh, the only cause and the only candidacies that those funds right now are, are poised to advance are Lorena Gonzalez and Nathan Fletcher, and they need to be called on the carpet for it. Would I? They be, need to be shamed for it, frankly. Would I be wrong in saying that a big chunk of that money is coming from union sources? A good amount came from union sources, uh, lobbyists, developers, even police uh, unions. And Nathan Fletcher and Lorena Gonzalez love to go to progressive causes and, and, and crowds and say how uh, woke they are and how they don't you know, like the police and they won't take police money. But then they turn around and obviously they take that money. Same thing with developer money. Uh, Lorena and Nathan have spent years uh, trashing other candidates for being in the pockets of developers. <laughs> Nathan Fletcher and Lorena are all in with these government subsidized housing project developers. So um, all of this money uh, comes from either individual donors or these special interests. But the money is there. The losses for the taxpayers are certainly there. Yeah. And I think people need to start asking in the community uh, either for their money back if they did contribute to Nathan or Lorena over the years. Uh, or uh, the community needs to demand that he help defray some of the damages that he caused uh, through his misconduct. Hey, just quickly, Carl, if 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 I, if I say gave a thousand dollars to Nathan Fletcher and I say, hey, I want it back, is he obligated to give it back to me? No, and I would love to see a law passed to uh, require that. But you know damn well, Paul, that politicians once they get your money, whether it's a tax increase or a campaign and, contribution, they're never parting parting with it. And, and Carl, one last quick one: is that is that 2.3 growing or has the has the well run dry now that they're seemingly out of the political power positions? They can continue to raise money without any sort of limitation to those funds. Um, they also can uh, invest money and then declare grow it that way. You know, okay. Grow it that way. So, OK, yeah. Look, uh, Paul. You've not seen the last time yeah. Nathan Fletcher's name yeah. is on a ballot. OK, I, yes, I guarantee you they're, they're going to try to slither out of the ditch and make up some sort of uh, fairy tale story. And guess what? Most of the liberal media will help them and buy it and try to rejuvenate his political career. Th th that's why they're not calling him out on this. Everyone knows that he's going to be back. Well, Carl DeMaio, I kept you overtime, so I, I don't want to pay the fee on that. I don't want to pay the penalty. So uh, um, we're calling you. Don't the worry interview. about it. It's all free. <laughs> <You're> gonna... <laughs> all right, Carl. Have a good, safe day, okay? Take care.